So consumer in general and consumer insight is increasingly important in China and many other emerging markets, particularly because, first of all, they are very dynamic. So their behavior three years ago might become obsolete this year. And um, they can be de-averaged into so many different segments. So for example, we always know China is not one market. So there's no one identical consumer behavior. Brands need to understand how to serve different segments of consumers. We find it extremely important for us to invest and really develop first-hand understanding from the consumer. This is really an unmet demand uh, from the POS data. The point of sales data is usually not comprehensive. It's usually uh, not fast enough to reflect the upcoming trend. So we decided to invest in this area uh, and for a couple of years now that we have very rich data set. We help our clients to understand where are the pockets of money, where they should go, how far they should expand their geographic footprint. And we also understand the nature of the demand very well. Consumers are very aspirational. Chinese has been the number one market that are willing to trade up for better quality products. So I think the opportunity is there, no doubt. But how are I going to convince them that you are the right brand, right product? They are very aspirational, but at the same time, very value driven. So it's not just about low price, but it's about the value added service or maybe the um, more sophisticated um, experience that they can gain from your product. Aside from branding, aside from the value proposition, how can you reach the, to the consumer? Because retail landscape is very fragmented in China. So uh, especially with the rise of digital channel, brands need to deal with multiple channels and um, to make sure that their product, their information can be presented in front of their consumers in many locations. Brands need to be very skillfully creating word of mouth for their product. Word of mouth is incredibly important in China because consumers tend not to trust authority, tend not to trust information pushed by brands. They often need to validate through their friends and families to facilitate their decision-making process. So in China, you can't just uh, put up all the advertisement or you can just you know, uh, go online, create your own official website and hope that consumers will understand, their, understand you from there. A lot of time you need to um, leverage the local platform, the ecosystem, go to the Taobao website, uh, generate the word of mouth there. Consumers will take a lot, will believe in that more than your own website.